Time for Trade Tuesdays now with industry mentor Miles Primrose from Business Side. He's been mentoring trades and builders from right across Australia and New Zealand for over 17 years and he joins us now. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Exciting week. Exciting yeah. month. Well, very exciting for some, uh, kind of scary for a lot of others, particularly a lot of people uh, in the trades sector as well. Talk to us about what people can be doing for their business to protect themselves, to protect their business. Well, look, I suppose luckily, in a sense, for you know some trades, they're uh, classed as essential services. So the mm -hmm. ones that want to work can actually still work. So that, that's a good thing. Um, now, there's, uh, there's really three things I'd like to focus on today. And uh, one is that um, they're going to need to re-forecast their cash flow plan. Um, if they did one last year, say in December, for the calendar year yeah, this year. Um, the second thing is to actually revisit their terms and conditions and make sure that they're tightened up or make sure that they're more appropriate for uh, the time we're in at the moment. And I think on the, on the video that we've got, I, we're talking about um, collaboration and meeting, but we might need to change that to actually having a barbecue by Zoom. Yeah, the old barbecue by Zoom. Let's have a look at uh, some of that vision now. Be as good a business as you are at your trade. Smiles Primrose here, Australia's trades and building business mentor. Three business tips for you today. Number one is you might need to actually look at and actually re-forecast or rework your cash flow forecast. If it was done in December last year for the calendar year for this year, it will need to be adjusted and accommodate the time we're in at the moment. Number two is you might want to have a look and update and get your terms and conditions updated, improved and actually tightened based on today's situation. And number three, see what you can do to collaborate. Maybe organise a barbecue. And uh, instead of the virus, have some Corona beers. Get a few friends around, get a few trades around, builders around, suppliers, see what you can do, come up with some ideas, do some brainstorming, be a great Aussie and actually work together and see what you can come up with. Be a great Aussie, uh, the message from Miles there. Um, and, and just go into that at the moment as well about from a, a trades perspective, because things have really changed, including from the client's perspective of what they expect from trades too at the moment. Well, look, I was with a, a mechanic last night and uh, he's, like a lot of people, you know, he's uncertain, he's a bit stressed out about what's going on right now at this very moment. And there was some thing, basic things that I said to him, similar to what's in this video. And I said, look, first of all, what are you using for a cash flow forecast? Whether things are good or bad, where's, where's your cash flow forecast? I don't have one. Obviously, that's something that he needs to put into place pretty quickly. Mm. Um, the second thing is, I said, so how do you bill your clients at the moment? Like, if I come up to you to get my car fixed, what are you going to quote me initially? He said, well, it just depends on what's wrong with your car. I said, that's sort of a bit like a 1980s-ish. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's too rough. You need to give your customers more certainty on yeah. what you can actually charge them. Well, that's it. Because the reason a lot of people don't pick up the phone to ask for help is they're scared that they won't get an answer. How many times do you go to a shop and your partner might say to you, well, why don't you ask for help? And we're so preconditioned now to going, they don't know anything more than I do about most of these things, or they need to go find someone to help. It's like when you ring the IT department and their advice goes no further than, have you tried turning it off and on again? You're so used to not actually getting answers or not getting specific information that quite often people don't pick up the phone anymore. That's right. Look, the, the third thing that I said to him was that um, he's got this great workshop. He's got all this great equipment. His knowledge is amazing. And he had uh, two other friends there that are mechanics as well. And I said, do they work with you? Are they part of the business? He said, no. I said, what's their level of experience like? He said, it's, it's amazing. I said, you've got these people right in front of you. Yeah. They actually don't have a job, a proper job right now. Why don't you create some sort of partnership with them? And, you know, they've obviously, other than mechanics, they've obviously got things that they're better than you at. You can create something amazing. And situations like this, we ran through the list um, on Ticker yesterday where we talk about some of the big companies that have actually come together during the Great Depression or during recessions over the years. Disney is one of them, obviously Netflix, you've got some of the, the big tech startups that have happened over the last 10 years like Airbnb and Uber. Airbnb started when someone had some spare room and couldn't pay their rent because of the GFC. Um, very similar story with Uber as well with cars from that perspective. This is a time to use your noggin as a way to really identify how can you create something that meets the demand? Obviously, cutting your prices is probably an easy one given people don't have money. You've got to ask, how's Foxtel going at the moment? But in terms of as a service provider, trying to find ways to not just 
get money from people, but to help people is what people are need and expect right now. Absolutely, and I look, there's a lot of people talking about actually reinventing yourself or your business, mm. and it's all very well saying that, but I mean, to me, um, some suggestions would be, for example, there's a lot of people obviously not traveling, mm. and they were thinking of going on holidays, it's, you know, we're start, starting to get a bit colder and that type of thing. So if you're a trades or in the building industry, well, think about it, instead of the work that you normally do, Maybe market to people that some because some people might some people have still got money. It's not everybody that's in a dire straits situation. Yeah, true. So maybe look at actually uh, focusing on doing some minor jobs or renovations around people's houses. Um, maybe getting um, some uh, some maintenance or wiring done while people are at home. They they're probably looking around the home thinking, I need to fix that, I need to fix that. Well, Dr. Chris Brown, uh, who's the famous vet, he's ended up in hospital because of an issue with the pruning scissors where he decided to, he's stuck at home at the moment, as many people are, and decided now was a good time to do some gardening, picked up the uh, pruning shears that he hasn't used for quite some time, ended up almost taking his eye out and goes to hospital, not at a time you want to turn up at A&E. Uh, so in terms of people you're right, being stuck at home. Really think, where are customers? What are customers doing? What do they need? What is still allowed at the moment? Because we don't know what phase two, when that comes in, what that will entail, whether we can't have any people together at all. But right now, there are opportunities, particularly looking that people have their devices in front of them. People are more connected than ever before and they've got time on their hands. So what are some, some tips on that? Look, um, I'll, I'll, I'll mention two things. Uh, the first thing is that uh, um, here's a perfect time maybe to even um, hop on Google and actually ask Google some ideas or have a look at what are some people doing overseas. That would be one thing. The other thing I mentioned before in the video is about actually collaborating. So here's a time to actually uh, electricians to be with other electricians or other trades and actually talk about some actually uh, some ideas. I mean, Australians are creative people. Um, we've come up with some pretty, pretty good ideas. And the last thing I'll finish on is um, if any trades or builders out there want to um, hop on a call, they can go to the business site website, go to the calendar, make a booking for a 15 minute call, more than happy to actually have a chat with them about some ideas. Yeah, and you just want to be able to help people out as well, don't you? You want to be able to give advice to people because right now is also a great time to build relationships. You may not get the sales over the line because people could be tight with their money or a little bit scared, but it's a great time to build relationships with people so that when we get to the other side, as we keep hearing from our leaders and all of the economists, there's going to be one hell of a bounce. And you want to be there right in people and already have that relationship when people are on the other side looking to get their business back on track. Absolutely. Yeah, all right, Miles, very much appreciate your time. What's on the show today? Uh, we're actually talking to a uh, female tradie from New Zealand today, so uh, uh, it's this great. This is from your time in New Zealand, of course, where you made all those contacts and you were running things over there? Uh, well, the contact is actually from um, Stephanie, the uh, Melbourne chippy chick. Right, I see. So. Um, uh, through me meeting her, like my network has just expanded yep. and uh, I've spoken to a few trades and builders, female trades and builders in New Zealand and yeah, we're going to be talking to one of them in the show later on today, which is fantastic. Very good, very good, excellent. All right, we'll look forward to that. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.